Mehbooba Mufti referred to it when she called it manufactured normalcy. You ask someone in the BJP, whether it's at the union territory or at the center, uh, even in the mood of the nation opinion poll that we carried out last week, to everyone else it appears Article 370 being abrogated was one of the BJP government's big achievements. For people like Sanjay Tikku on the ground, they say what has changed? We are still as unsafe and as vulnerable as we were 30 years ago. You are doing symbolic protests on social media. This means nothing for the 20,000 plus Hindus who are in Kashmir who are as unsafe on your watch, Zafar Islam, as they were on the watch of the UPA. Let me respond to that, uh, Rahul. First of all, I am sorry but I tend to disagree with his analysis and his opinion. Having said that, let me give you some statistic probably perhaps that will make him understand that what has changed and how the dynamic has changed since 5th August 2019 when the overall the uh, uh, terrorist activities has come off significantly the stone pelting has come off has, has completely stopped the number of civilians who was uh, uh, who have been the victim in the past prior to 2019 it has come off again the, the overall loss of uh, our, our uh, of army personnel, that has also come off. And the targeted, uh, the, we had identified the terrorists and we have uh, killed them. That number has gone up significantly. So that only suggests that there is a concerted effort on the part of the government to ensure that we must bring peace. And, and, and we must fail if we make everyone. No, but the feel government secure, can't give itself certificates. Our, People like Sanjay Tiku, Sayyid no, Zafar Islam, certain. are on the ground. They're saying we're not feeling the change. We voted for you. You promised us safety. You haven't been able to secure us. Uh, we feel as unsafe on your watch as we did earlier. You can't tell us Sub Changasi. We don't think Sub Changasi. No, uh, see, this is not a general perception, but today, see, because it's a very unfortunate incident which, uh, which has happened, and that's why perhaps he has uh, been extremely vocal and maybe he is a uh, little emotional, that's why he's been able to tell such thing which is factually incorrect. We have tried every possible way and we will continue to do that, that and we will ensure that when terrorism, terrorist activities had stopped or had come off significantly, then this kind of targeted killing with young boys who do not look like terrorists, they, are, they, they, they look like a student and then if some of the photos which is being shown on your screen, just see there's like a student carrying a bag, a shoulder bag and then suddenly taking out a pistol and okay, firing. Okay, Sanjay Tiku has his hand up, he's itching so, to come in and respond. You're saying essentially stone pelting is down, more terrorists are being killed than earlier. Things are getting better. You are making a big deal because one Kashmiri Pandit was killed. That one instance can't be the larger big picture. Uh, 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 how, can, how can they say it like that? Nah? It is 808 families who are, who are facing the burden of the militancy in the uh, terrorism in the valley for last uh, 32 years. How can they say there is a normalcy on the ground zero? Please tell me. How many people were there in the in the stadium uh, on, on 15th of August to watching the unfolding of the independence uh, Tiranga? How can how, they say that? How many were how there? How can they say that, let, that, let that it's a small, small incident? If it is a small incident, let them come to Kashmir. Let, let the BJP or other parties fight with the KRF. We want to live somewhere. Let me respond, Rahul. It's a sensitive question. It is not an emotional impulse. The only people who have been killed as on date, the person who has been killed today has four daughters. Let me respond. What the daughter will give them ultimately?